this dealer built the largest Honda store in the world. But did they build it too big? So of course, we had to come to their grand opening to find out. Let's check it out. Okay, hold that. Keep going, keep going. I think we're gonna need a longer tape measure. So Savannah, should we tell everybody why you're here? When I got the call and I heard there's a third gen doing it bigger than the last, I couldn't help but show up. Here's some things you need to know. This group has 22 stores in Indiana, Illinois, and Wisconsin. They've done an excellent job at brand build, data, and community culture growth since Ryan Roman took over in 2020. You probably remember Zach Kinch from this, and this, and this. So Zach, we're trying to figure this out. Was this building built too big? No, it's perfect size. So we need to find out exactly how long they've been thinking about building this store. I found Honda Pro Jason. He's a brand advocate with over 45 million views on YouTube alone. You literally started at the Honda store in 96 selling cars. Schaumburg Honda Automobiles. This is their new location. I started February of 96 in their old location. And when I started, they told me, don't worry about the way the dealership looks. I'm like, it looks a little run down. Don't worry about it. We're getting a new one. I go, you are? Oh yeah, here. Here's the drawings. I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. So sure, it's been 27 years that they've been talking about building this very store. But does that mean they're ready to fill it? That's Omar Shabazz. He's the service director right here at Schaumburg Honda. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, so talk about bays real fast. So how many bays did you guys have at the old store? How many bays do you have at the new store? 17 bays at the old store, 32 bays at the new store. Service drive is a little over 100 yards long. Uh, it's three bays, it's five wide inside. I'm thinking of how like long your old one was, because how many cars could you fit? Three. Yeah. <laughs> three cars inside the old service drive. Yeah. <laughs> but finally, is this store too big? So Ryan, we're here in the largest Honda store yes. in the world. Oh yeah. Did you guys overbuild this? Yes, we definitely overbuilt. <laughs> oh, just by a little bit though, but it is definitely overbuilt. It's really surreal. It's um there's a, there's a level of emotion uh, to be honest like um just because of my grandfather's connection with this store specifically, I will think about this one for days because of the emotional connection I had with my grandfather. Whoa. He lived 30 minutes from here and I would live in his basement and he'd wait for me every night when I got home from selling cars and he like, the car business was different. So I, we'd work till 10 or 11 o'clock at night. He'd wait up for me, I'd get home at midnight and he'd be like, hey babe, uh, how'd it go? And I was like, Grandpa, what are you doing up? He's like, well, I'm waiting for you. And as Ryan talked more and shared more about his grandpa, that's when it became clear. It wasn't about the size of the building. It was about the legacy of his grandpa. Small town dealer out of Lafayette, Indiana. His first big jump in the Chicago market was this store. Mr. Roman was fantastic with the people as well. And he instilled in me hard work work hard do your job have a good time doing your job i mean you heard his laugh i mean he was he always had a great time this is everything he would ever dream of and um i know he's looking down smiling for sure he would love this i mean this was he loved building big stores so his last his last three stores were huge he would love this so does dimension make a difference? I don't think so. But legacy does. Thanks to everybody at Roman who shared this with us today. Hi, Jordan. It's Grandpa. Hey, uh, Grandma's 75th birthday this year. I kind of like to go out for supper with you guys, you and, and celebrate our birthdays. Okay. See you later. Bye.